Hello everybody and thank you for watching an RTD video on how to set up your Elgato to capture HD. So I'm just going to start this video off with a little bit of footage that I captured from The Last of Us multiplayer with my Elgato to capture HD. The Elgato Game Capture HD is $179.95 retail price on the Game Capture website. It's a little bit of an expensive capture device but it's quality and everything about it is definitely worth the price out of all of the capture devices that are available on the market the Elgato Game Capture HD is what's highly recommended by us and by anyone else that you're gonna have to talk to on the subject the system requirements for Elgato Game Capture HD if you're running a Mac you need to have OS X 2.0 gigahertz Intel Core 2 Duo CPU processor if you're running a PC you need to have Windows 7 or later with the same processor and about 4 gigabytes RAM built in and a built in USB port. Um, first you're going to need your game capture HD and your USB wire, the component adapter and PS3 or Xbox 360, a computer that matches the specifications and an HDMI TV and the Elgato game capture software which can be downloaded from gamecapture.com. All you need to do is go to gamecapture.com and go to the bottom of the page and there will be a download link Make sure you download the software appropriate for whichever computer's operating system you're using. And then, to make sure you plug it all together right, first grab your Game Capture HD and your USB 2.0 port and plug the non-USB 2.0 side into the Game Capture HD. And then you're going to want to plug in the 2.0 side into your computer, find a USB port on your computer plug it in. Alright, for the second wire you can go ahead and grab your, if you're using a PS3 or Xbox, it doesn't matter, grab your first HDMI wire and plug it into the HDMI out port on your Elgato game capture device. And then you're going to want to take the other end and plug it into the HDMI port on your television. If you've got a PlayStation, It'll come with a component adapter and a PlayStation wire with corresponding color cords for you to plug it into. So just make sure that you plug all of the color cords correctly into the slots that they need to go to. Make sure that they're all nice, tight, and secure. And then this side is the component side that you need to plug into the AVN port on your game capture device. And once you do that, if all of your systems are already turned on, you've got Game Capture installed and opened. At first, it'll tell you no signal, and then once you plug it in, your screen should load like this. And your PlayStation or Xbox screen should load up on your Game Capture device for your computer software. If you click the settings buttons right here, you can go through capture, picture, audio, advanced settings, all the settings you need to go to. You can select which device you're using. I'm recording on a PlayStation 3. They have the PlayStation 4, Xbox 360, Xbox One, Wii U, iPad, all that. I'm recording in 1080p HD. Um, Elgato Game Capture comes with a game audio option and a live commenta commentary option where you can click to record your voice straight into the gameplay of the game. It also comes with a live streaming option where you can sign in a live streaming account to there are several accounts that they work with Twitch, YouTube, Livestream and RTTP so you can live stream directly to one of those websites if you have an account and that's pretty much it for the Game Capture HD guys so thank you for tuning in and I hope that you guys enjoy the video please leave a like comment and subscribe